Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm going to be showing you how to import graphics and titles into Premiere Pro. So a lot of times you don't need to recreate your work. You can actually go find someone else's work and just edit it slightly, and you'll have beautiful titles, graphics, and some really cool features uh, that I'll show you. So first things first, we need to find some titles. Envato Elements is a great place to find some titles. Once you have your subscription, uh, it's a monthly fee. You get unlimited amounts of downloads. There are tons of titles all through here. And then we also have like stock footage and videos and photos and graphics and all this other stuff. But once you find the title you want, you can see all these amazing different ones or graphic that you want there are some uh, really cool like slideshows and graphics that you can use you're just going to go ahead and click the download button uh, i went ahead and grabbed this modern titles pack as well as this white parchment title pack and i'm going to show you how to manipulate both of these to work but first things first once they are downloaded we need to go ahead and actually add them we can click install motion graphics template and then go find where it is now if we go down to right about here or here, well, you know, we can choose any of these to import. I'm just gonna go ahead and import Modern Title 3. And you'll see that I already have one and two imported. So if I go into my Essential Graphics panel, and then I go to Browse, we can then now look for the Modern right here um, by searching. And then I'm just gonna go down and find Modern Title 3. So we can drag that one on. And once we click it, we then have the ability to figure out what the, the text is gonna look like. What I like to do is go, and to the point where the text is actually visible. So when we change it, we see what we're doing. So for example, here, Adobe Masters, um, importing graphics. So you can see that we now have created a title and that's all we have to do to edit it. We can also change the font here to anything that we want. So if you know we wanted the, to be impact at the top, we can change it to impact. And the bottom one down here is random click Okay, that's Japanese. Uh, to, for example, that. We can have the two added together. They don't look very well, good, but for this purpose, it works. You can change all the text uh, or all the colors. So you can change this to a different color palette if you want. There's um, different abilities for the boxes. You can make them wider. You can make them smaller. You can make them taller or shorter. And what it does is it's all set up so that the graphic is still going to look good when it comes in. And we have just a lot of control over it. Scale it up, scale it down. There's lots of really, really cool things that you can do with these these graphics. You'll notice that I've done that for a few different ones, um, like number two and number one. What's neat is that these are usually set up top to bottom. So for example, in this one, I have Adobe Masters Presents Importing Graphics. Now you see that the Presents is at the top and the Importing Graphics is at the bottom. But with type, uh, the size matters. Whenever you see a type, it doesn't matter that there's something above it. You're going to read the biggest one first, and then usually the second biggest second, and then the third biggest third. So in this situation, you read this as Adobe Masters Presents Importing Graphics. So it's set up so that you know how to type it out so that people will read it properly. A couple of them may come with instructions. You see it says repeat text right there. Uh, you just need to make sure that both sides have the text um, proper. If this is different, you'll notice that this... Uh, thing is going to break down the midway, so that just a little caveat there. And then finally, let's look at our really cool one, which is the one right here. Um, so this one took a very long time to render, and you'll see that I actually made the text a little too long. You have to make sure you don't do that. But by just importing my own things, it re-rendered this to make a neat uh, Adobe Masters Presents importing. Um, as you can see, my the name is just a little bit bigger. So I would probably want to actually scale this text down for the next version so I could actually put everything in. But this took about 25 minutes to render, so I'm not going to make that change right here. But that is how you import a graphics template or file in Adobe Premiere Pro. It's really, really simple. Something like Envato Elements where you can pay a monthly subscription and just browse hundreds and thousands of this is great. Check out the link in the description below for a link to this website. Thanks, everyone. Until next time.